Hi, it's Andrew from Club Sci Kids. I'm so excited that you have joined me today for our activity. Today we are going to again look at water and oil. Now from our past experiments, you know that oil and water do not mix. Oil is hydrophobic, which literally means it's scared of the water. When you pour oil into water, it separates. It does, it does not mix. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make a lava lamp um, out of water, oil, and salt. Now, if you, um, if you just have only regular salt, that is totally fine. It will work. If you have um, ice cream salt or larger, even kosher salt, that's a little bit larger crystals, that will also work even a little bit better. I'm going to show you both so you see the results. Um, and it's also fun. Color makes everything better. So go ahead and pick some food coloring. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, fill a glass. Um, it, the, the bigger, it's a little bit better because you'll be able to see um, the lava lamp a little bit better. So what you're going to do is take your water and add your food coloring to it. Now you have your colored water. Now thinking back to some of our past lessons, we learned about Archimedes and his principle. So we need to remember to not fill our water the whole way to the top because we're going to be adding not only oil to it, but we're also going to be adding salt to it. And we know that when you add something into, di into the water, it's going to take the place and displace the water. So we want to make sure that you do allow some space up at the top um, for when we're adding the salt and such into it. So as, as long as your water level is good to go, we're now going to add some vegetable oil. You don't really need to measure. Um, if you want to, it can be about a quarter of a cup, but we're just going to eyeball it. We're going to pour it very slowly and not mix it up. And you will see all of the bubbles here and how it's starting to separate. So we're going to give it a minute or two to let it finish separating. Um, that is it's about an inch and a half of, um, according to my thing, of, of oil. That's more than enough. So we're going to give it a minute or two um, just to sit and let everything settle out. All right, you can see that we have two very nice separate layers. We have the oil on the top and the colored water on the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add salt. I'm going to first add the um, ice cream salt, which is a little bit larger crystals. Now, thinking about what you talked about, about floating and sinking, do you think that the salt crystals are going to float or sink? That is right, they're going to sink. So when we dump in the salt crystals, they're going to travel through the oil and go to the bottom. Now, Think about the last time that you grabbed a chip out of the bag or even a french fry out of off of your plate. Even just from touching it, your fingers get greasy from the oil. So as this salt goes into the container, even though it's just dropping right through this oil at the top, it's still going to get some oil onto it. And what's going to happen is as the salt crystals drop to the bottom, it catches some of that oil. The oil Remember, it doesn't mix with water. It's less dense than water. So even though it's kind of being captured by the salt and being brought down, it's going to break free and come back up to the top. And that's where we're going to see the really neat effect. So go ahead, get some of your salt. And I like to add just a little bit at a time. You get to see the reaction a little bit better. So again, I'm going to start with the larger salt crystals first. As they come in, you see all of that movement of the oil. So go ahead and do it again. Now I'm going to show you a close-up of what this reaction looks like. Yeah. 
Isn't that super neat? So now if you don't have the big salt, I want to show you how it does work with the regular size salt. Now it is going to be a little bit different in that this salt is larger and it's going to sink a lot quicker. Um, like if you watch the video with the different kinds of fruits, some of the fruits that floated, some of them floated right away and then some of them it took a little bit longer to come up to the surface. The same thing with sinking. Some things sink right away because um, how heavy they are and then some take a little bit longer. So here and also the salt, um, the crystals are tinier so it has to be able to break through the oil. We know that the oil does have some surface tension. So if you just add one or two little drops of salt, you see nothing really happen. So go ahead and watch what happens when you add a bunch of salt at a time. The salt kind of forms up and once it gets too heavy, it breaks through together. So let's watch that again. And you'll see that when you use this smaller salt, it also tends to have more of a residual effect where the oil bubbles will continue to move up and down as the salt um, gathers together and falls down. So let's go ahead and take a closer look um, at the regular table salt. So wasn't that really neat? So you can continue um, experimenting and watching your lava lamp. And again, this really neat thing is caused by regular scientific principles. The main principle that we use today are density and the fact that oil is hydrophobic. It does not mix with water. And salt, when you put it into water, it sinks. I hope that you had a great time today and I will see you tomorrow.